We're talking Father's Day. Let's dedicate our first fashion segment of this Fashion Friday to the men in our lives. You know we love showing you how to flip fashion rules on their heads. So we've got Daniel Ocean joining us now to help break the style rules your man thinks he knows. Daniel, welcome to City Line. I'm so, you so happy much. you're with us today. Thanks and much. I love that you're giving men permission to experiment with their clothing and sort of like throw the rule book out. So talk to us about why some style rules were just meant to be broken. Well, I think style is always important to push your boundaries. And if something feels right, then it's always the right outfit. I think the best accessory to have in an outfit is confidence. So I say, break the rules, have fun with it, and enjoy it, own it. And be confident, I love yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Best accessory. So we're gonna start with you. Yes. So, so let's talk about the first rule that we are breaking today. So what we're doing, the rule of don't over-accessorize, I am very much over-accessorizing. Yes. So I think the key to this one here is to start with a very, um, like a blank canvas, basic, minimal outfit and then uh -huh. add accessories on top just to make it pop. So I got two hands full Give us of one jewelry. of these so we can actually see the blinged the out. Bling. And you can do, you oh, know, slight it. gold or like chunky silver. I did yeah. a stack on the wrist here. Yes. And you can always add some cool statement sunglasses like these ones. Oh my gosh, give us a look right into that camera right there. This Hold your hands out so we can see the bling. <laughs> we see the shades. Daniel is ready to rock. So I like that, I like that we're breaking this rule right it's now. It's a rock star look. And it's a yes. cool one too because you're probably going to be the only guy in the room that has that look. Yeah. It's very memorable and it's a good conversation starter. I love it. You know what else is memorable? The models we have today. Yes. So let's bring out Devo. You will recognize Devo of Roger's fame, of course. So My man. breaking Daniel the rule we're breaking today is you cannot wear joggers with a blazer mm. and this is a look made famous by American designer Jerry Lorenzo uh -huh. he has a collection called fear of God and it's all about casual comfortable luxury and yes. Devo's doing the look perfectly here we're actually wearing a pair of joggers from the fear of God collection I definitely recommend a neutral toned earthy tone for this mm -hmm. a great um, set of loafers a relaxed fit tee a relaxed fit blazer and then we finished off the look with some cool eyewear and a leather folio. I think it's a great look for an entrepreneur, a man on the go that wants to look professional, but always be comfortable. It's a perfect look for Devo. So Devo, just tell me, did you tell him to put you in this? Pretty much, yeah. This is, this is super comfortable. And look, I look very important. I've got important documents in here. Very important documents. <laughs> and mature. And mature. This is a man. <laughs> Devo, thank you so much. You look so good. Okay, the next rule. Stuart is going to model for us the next rule that we are breaking today. What rule is that, Daniel? So, this, this is all about taking what's usually underneath and bringing it to the surface. So, using the undershirt as a layering item rather than hiding it. You can really do this look with any trousers, so it's a blue jean or a suit pan or a trouser like this at Chino. And then you can do this look in two different ways. A subtle detail by having the shirt buttoned up, yeah. or if we unbutton, it creates a slightly more relaxed, almost um, you know, easy breezy, effortless look. This yes. is a great look for any summer. I'm going to a summer concert tonight, and I think I'm gonna try to pull this off. I think you can pull it off as try. you are. Stuart, I haven't seen your mouth in about a year and a half. Like, oh my gosh, there's no mask on your face. How are you feeling in this look? Would you do it? One, and I'd love to buy it. Like, I just want it on my shelf now. Sell it to him. Sold! <laughs> Stuart, thank you so much. You look so good. Next up, we've got this beautiful, colorful suit. He is rocking it. It is Nick. Daniel, talk to me about what rule we are breaking right now. This is now. how you turn some heads. So the rule we're breaking here is it doesn't, the suit doesn't have to be traditional navies and black. So embrace bright, dynamic colors like this one. Oh, it's wow. from RW & Co. They have a lot of really great colors in store right now. Yes. I think the rule within breaking this rule here is to make sure that the accessories, the items with the outfit are subtle and minimal. You don't want to yeah. make it too obnoxious with printed shirts. So a simple black tee, a simple sneaker like this, this, a great look for any summer party or event yeah. and to get noticed. Excuse me, but can you give us a spin? <laughs> like, just give us a, what is happening yeah. right now? <laughs> Nick, how are you feeling in the suit? Would you ever? I feel like a million bucks. Yes. I just said don't put me in a bathing suit, so I'm fine with this. I'll take anything <laughs> at this point. <laughs> Next City Line show, you're going to be in a suit. Thank you, a bathing suit. Thank you so much, Nick. You look fantastic. Okay, let's talk about Donovan Bennett coming out now of Sportsnet fame. 
He is rocking several prints, looking incredible. What's the rule we're breaking, Daniel? The rule we're breaking is that you can't mix and match prints, and yeah. it very much can be done. You just have to be mindful of a couple things. First is tones, which we definitely got here, and the second thing is themes. You know, having a yeah. nautical print shirt with maybe a pineapple bottom doesn't really make sense. Yeah. But a simple way to do this look is with a striped textured short like this one from Zara, a flowy shirt on top, and then let the prints tell the story kind of like the suit thing. So a minimal pair of sneakers like these off-white uh, off colored ones yeah. is the perfect look. Again, this could be done at a barbecue, at a party, or just, you know, hanging around on a Sunday. I love and I love that the shorts are textured. Donovan, mm -hmm. how are you feeling about this look? I'm feeling great. Listen, the rule we're breaking is don't let Donovan be a model. <laughs> I'm a grown-ass man, but <laughs> muted tones, the patterns. I feel like I'm fun but not foolish. So it's, it's amazing. I, love I like that. Fun, fun but not, not foolish. foolish. That's a rule for life. You're looking good, man. Thank you, Donovan. Hey, thanks, Let's bring out our next look. Julian is coming out dressed to the nines. Who does he think he is? Oh my goodness! Look at you with the glasses too, Daniel. What rule are we breaking? We are breaking the rule that the car pant is only for dads on a hiking or yes. a camping trip. I think this one <laughs> might be my favorite. It suits them so well. The trick here is finding a slim fitting cargo pant. These are from Zara. They fit him perfectly. Yeah. And they can be mixed and matched with graphic tees, um, a polo or a jumper. I like what we've done here with a striped tee, oversized bla blazer and a loafer for a refreshing take on business casual. Now listen, I know you were like a professional model, but we need to see a smile on that face. Look at that camera, show us those pearly whites. And Julian, please tell me, would you do this? It's very different from the look we have at the gym. Yes, I absolutely <laughs> would. And I love it because it's also very outdoor. It has a very outdoorsy, rugged look and it's yes. great and I'm ready to go. I think I have to do a, like a makeover and do some serious shopping after this. So You need <laughs> the whole look, man. Glasses too, it looks so good, Daniel. Thank you so much for that. My pleasure, happy to be here. Absolutely.